So I wanted to do a video review of a new dog coat we got for Cookie. There's things about it I like, things about it I don't like. Um, Velcro, I'm not real crazy for because the sound of it kind of freaks my dog out. And it's a big wide piece, which is nice. And it's great for adjustability, but wow, it's really loud. It's going to kind of freak my dog out a little bit. Um, they claim that it's waterproof. We'll test that out someday and see if it really is. Um, it is not made in America. It says, tag says it's made in India. There's no care wash instructions sewed onto it. So there's no little tag that reminds you. So you have to look up the care wash instructions on the website and remember them. Um, the materials seem good. The way it's made, it's, it's made very professional. It's very beautiful. It's got reflective things on it, which I like. Um, thing I liked about it the most was the price. Some important things I don't like about it. It's a really good idea, but I think there needs to be some different things done with this. Um, number one, I, I, me personally, I'd really rather a buckle than this Velcro. Number two, the way their sizes go on their website. Now, go on their website. Uh, so it's their, this is made by Schneider's Horse Blankets. And if you go to the dog blankets and you look at their sizing chart, and I and I want you to do the math, but when you go down the different sizes, there's like a between a two to four difference in the sizes, except for one. And the top is I think three inches to the next size bigger, but the side measurement is six inches. So when you look at all the sizes, when they go from the small and they go down the list to the large and extra large and triple extra large. The differences between the back measurement and the side measurement is two to four inches going, going up to the next size, except for this one, which is the one that we needed. It's six inches on the side measurement, but not the top measurement. And I was a little confused by that. So what that ended up meaning is on my dog, the back measurement would be fine, but this side measurement would have been sticking out five or six inches and laying on her tail and she wouldn't have liked that. So, um, so I think the fit and the sizes are a little off and I need to tweak that a little bit. Um, but let me show you some other things about the blanket. So I've been doing some research and finding that a lot of dog things are loaded with lead and heavy metals and stuff and weird chemicals like even like collars and harnesses and stuff dog toys dog bowls um finding really high amount amounts of chemicals and stuff that are harmful to your dog and if your dog is wearing it or eating out of it it can build up in their body and make them sick so one of the things I didn't like about this is I don't really know what the materials are I mean they say it's called Duratech I don't know what that really is I guess I gotta do some research on it but the inside of it is not like a soft fabric it's like a tarpy almost like a <sighs> Plasticky kind of feeling like a maybe like a windbreaker kind of a material I don't know um, not so sure about it I guess I got to do a little research on it um, I thought for sure it was gonna be just like a fabric um, like a, a regular fabric um, so then I'm not so sure I, I like the outside fabric I like um, It's sewn together really nice. I, I like these little uh, gussets here so that the front leg movement, it'll, it'll open up a little bit for the dog. Um, that's my friend's dog you hear barking. She's really rude. Um, doesn't let you do anything except throw the ball for her. <laughs> so I do like that. Here's the big problem I have with this. If your dog is wearing a harness, there's no hole to attach a leash to the harness. So one of the things that this blanket needs is either a hole 
with a flap, of course, so that it's, you know, a covering so water doesn't seep in there. Or attach a loop to the back of this so you could attach a leash to it. Um, either one of those I'd be, I'd be fine with. So that's one of the big problems with this blanket. You're walking your dog in a harness. Um, this coat's not going to work. The other thing I do not like is the front, there's no opening to open it, to put it on the dog. So it has to go over their head. The issue with this, the big issue with this is I have a friend who's got a pit bull whose back and side measurement, which is how they fit these 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 jackets these coats are exactly the same as my dogs but her head is huge and would never fit through this hole okay I mean my dog's head fits through it snugly and my friend's dog who is measurement wise back and side the same as my dog her head is easily twice the size of my dog's head and this blanket will never fit on her so Schneider dog blanket, there are some pros and cons. Um, I wanted something that was material wise, heavier than the typical doggy rain jacket so that she could run through the woods and it wouldn't snag and rip and tear. This looks like this will hold up really nice for that, but there's no neck protection. Um, belly protection is minimal. I mean, there's a, it's a wide belly strap, so it will protect the belly a little bit from water getting kicked up, but it's not going to protect the chest area between their front legs. That's going to get soaked. Um, so I, there's things about it that I like, things about it that I don't like, but I hope that this video helps you make a better decision. And I guess I should put it on cookie so you can see it on her. Okay, so here's my cookie girl. Here's my blankets. You know, and if you've got a dog that doesn't like having things passed over their head, too. So you can see how that's pretty snug on her, going over her head. So a dog that's got a huge head, this is not going to work for them. So, so there you go. That's it. It does leave this part exposed. So her back measurement, I measured correctly. But even it is a little bit short and it's way too short in the back. If I had gotten the next size larger, it would have been three inches longer here, which may have worked good, um, but it would have, it's six inches longer here. So it would have been, the side part would have been only out here, which just doesn't make sense to me, um, why they sized it like that. Um, and not knowing how it was gonna fit, I ordered this one because it seemed like it made the most sense, um, but it's too short in the back and if I send it back, I, I don't get my, my um, shipping. I have to pay for return shipping and I don't get my shipping for the first order um, returned and so you're stuck paying shipping, um, shipping this back and then having the other one shipped and then having the first one shipped. So you get stuck paying shipping three times. So it's not worth it to me to return it, even though I feel like this. So they wanted you to measure from the base of the tail to the top of the neck. And that measurement is right. This here is incorrect. This should have been longer. Um, you have to stop barking. I'm making a video. So I, I'm not really happy with the way the sizing works. I think the company's got a good idea, but they need, they need to figure out their dog pattern a little bit better. And this part is unacceptable. This, this should have an opening with some adjustability because dogs that have great big heads, again, it's, it's, like, it's, it's tight getting it off my dog. My dog has got a skinny head. It was really tight over the ears. She hated it. So, Keep that in mind. So yeah, Schneider blanket, good blanket for the money. Um, I think their sizing is terrible. Um, doggy blanket design needs uh, some tweaks to make it perfect. Uh, if you don't, if you can't afford ninety dollars for an awesome blanket, which I can't, um, you could pick up one of theirs. I think. 
I got it when it was on sale, but then they charge you $10 shipping. So I ended up paying $30 for this blanket, but that's still better than a hundred. There's a blanket I originally wanted. Cookie was like 90 some dollars. Um, but you also get what you pay for. So I, I again, the short of it is I, I, the craftsmanship and making it beautiful. Sizing, terrible. Um, design, terrible. Craftsmanship's beautiful. Design's terrible. We're going to do a waterproof test on it. I want you to see that slight color variation going from the lighter to the darker. It is not waterproof. I put it over my hand and turned on the faucet in the sink and let the water run over the back probably for only about a minute and water did seep through notice you can you can see that 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 color variation right there that is the wet spot so schneider horse horse and dog blanket company blanket is a fail sorry